Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. And I'm Dan. And this is the Board Game Rundown. And today we're going to do a Kickstarter preview for Acornism. Uh, at, at the time of filming, you will see that this video is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, and in this game, what we're trying to do is we've got all of these little woodland creatures and we are trying to feed them acorns. Uh, to do that, you're going to have a hand of four tiles. You're going to play one out there. The first one, legally, can go anywhere because that's... Uh, nice. There's nowhere near, near it. Uh, once you play a tile, you're going to draw a new one. Then the next player is going to play a tile, uh, and he can play it in any way that is legal. So to be legal, you must meet these requirements. Uh, you must have an acorn next to an animal, and you can never have an animal in an animal adjacent. Adjacent. Same thing with the acorns. Um, the other thing that will affect placement will be uh, you cannot exceed the number of acorns around the animal that uh, more than it wants, right? So this squirrel only wants five acorns. So I can't put this here because that will make it six acorns, right? A three and a three. So not a right legal tiles. play. I'd have to play this somewhere else. I could play it over here now, and then Bob can play a tile. That was an interesting order. Yeah, yeah I just played two. Uh, now here's the thing. It, We've got this spot right here. So to score points, because that's super important, you're going to have to enclose an animal with acorns. And to do so, you're going to need to have the exact number that that animal needs. Uh, so 10. So we've got three, six, seven. I would need a three or Dan needs a three. Uh -huh. Let me get my first turn. point. Yeah. Just going. <laughs> hey, yeah, his first Dan point. Then Dan would take points. a scoring marker and put it on top of that animal. So that animal is now scored. Nobody else is going to get points off of that animal. And then we're going to continue going uh, until we either run out of uh, tiles to play or there's no legal moves left. Um, the the borders will be, it can go eight by eight. So once you have gone eight out, uh, bloop, bloop, let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay on end. Just, just long it. Yeah, long ways. Seven. Long ways. Nope, long ways. too late. <laughs> eight, boom. Now we've set borders and you cannot score the animals on the borders. Uh, because, yeah, because, they, because they can't be surrounded. Because they can't be surrounded. Checks out. Uh, there is a magic acorn, which counts as zero up to 10. Whatever you need it to be, it, it is, is that for any animal around it. Uh, so super powerful and uh, only one of them in the game. And uh, that's what, that's basically how you play the game. Yeah. At, at the end, when there's no more viable moves, you tally up all the points and you have a winner. Uh, because this is a preview, this is uh, like a prototype copy. So we won't talk a ton on components, but I mean, pretty much this is the I game. I will talk I about how yeah. cool those leaf components are. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> totally fair. Yeah. Uh, but why don't we just kind of share our thoughts uh, about the game, starting with Bob. Uh, yeah, I thought it was an uh, interesting tile laying game. It had a very like domino feel to it. Um, but then you have to, of course, like Tim was saying, like alternate whether you're going to put like, you know, uh, the domino, the acorns next to the dude or... Uh, you know, a blank spot. And what I thought was really neat is like as I was playing it and I realized that I couldn't score anywhere, it kind of then became because all your tiles are public information. So I looked at Tim's tiles, I knew what was coming up, and I'm like, okay, so he's got two ones. So I don't want to leave him anywhere where he can put that one acorn next to an animal and, and finish it. So I would try to move to like block him off or make it illegal so he couldn't do that. And uh, I really like that game within the game where you're trying mm -hmm. to like you know make sure people don't have that. But I also think that it might be interesting to keep them hidden one time. Yeah, and try you to see a, how see how that would work. You could out. do a hidden mode yeah. easily. Um, but no, I thought it was like it was uh, super enjoyable. It was, it was fast. Um, and like I played a ton of dominoes growing up, and this kind of like scratched that a little bit for me um, with a another layer on top of it with the you're not just going for multiples of five right because in dominoes that i used to play it was you're going for multiples of five trying to get points and this one you're trying to go to with whatever the animals want and yeah i think it's kind of interesting to be able to either try to score yourself or try to move to block somebody else and say you know, like um we had a, a guest in the studio earlier and uh, she played with us and she was like well i'm the only one with a one tile so i know that place is safe for me so i'm gonna go over here this time and it's like yeah <laughs> but yeah yeah smart it was good mm -hmm. it was really smart daniel this game hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's funny because I'm kind of like the spatial game guy. I mean, most of us like spatial games, but I'm just the one that talks about it the most, it mm -hmm. seems, for some reason. Um, and uh, so, like, when I see this layout, okay, we got these, like, double-sided domino thingies. We gotta, we have to surround something. It's not about lining something up. It's about surrounding something. Okay, that's interesting. The math has to add up. Okay, I like that. The math adding up. And it's literally, you can't place if the math doesn't add up. Okay, so that changes how placement can work. Then you have an 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, that's interesting. You can 
force closures on things. Hey, mm -hmm. I have a ten in my hand that I know I'm not gonna be able to finish. So I'll put it here on the edge so that I know no one's gonna be able to get those ten points and stuff like that, right? Yep. You got some really good stuff here, and man, is it hard, like just thinky. There's so much going on for such a simple idea. You're just laying these things down, and then when you get the math right, you put a, a leaf on it. But you, but looking looking at this board even right now with it not even being halfway through the game or anything yet, well, you know, we're looking at this. We took like three turns each or something, and you're looking at this and it's just like okay hold on okay yeah. so there's four here and there's a blank so i'd need to put a four here yeah, oh i don't have a four okay right. so i can't finish that when i have a 10 there that's four five that could be anything okay so i could i could do that what does that open up for other people though if i do that mm -hmm. then it opens this spot up uh so that's interesting what does bob have then you look over to what your opponents have right okay what does bob have what could so you have to see everything that's out there how it relates to what you can play how it relates to what they're gonna be able to play after you before it comes back to you. Yeah. Uh, I, fascinating. There is so much going on in this simple, simple little game. So if you like a tile laying game that's like really thinky, in my opinion, um, I, this this is up there. Like this this was pushing the boundary of thinking for me. Where it was coming to my turn, I was like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much going on. By the time and then I'll play this, and then by the time it gets back to me, everything has changed, and it's... I'm just like, where do I go? I wasn't joking. I didn't get any points yeah, like, the first time we played. Yeah. Which <laughs> takes uh, which takes the other thing. Get ready for such a thinky game to have a bit of randomness. You are drawing tiles from a deck, and mm -hmm. you have to take advantage of those tiles. So there are times where you only have twos in your hand and there is no spot on the board that can win you points with twos. Yep. And you just have to, it's not about uh, that hand then, it's again becomes how do you either set up your future hand, preferably, or make sure you're not just throwing points to another player's because yep. uh, you not getting points uh, is still uh, better than me giving right. Bob three points. That's still that swing that is twice as much as if I had uh, just had zero for everyone, right? right? You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just, that's, that's my basic thoughts on this game. I know this is a, a reprint of some mm -hmm. kind, so mm -hmm. if you've seen the original, this is just what they're going for for this look. And uh, yeah, just a, just a nice, thinky, quick tile lane game. Yeah, everything these guys said. This is really fun, uh, really nice. I actually, I will comment, I guess, on the art a little bit. Like, I kind of like the minimalistic, but very mm -hmm. direct uh, art and icons that are used. Like, it's very straightforward, right? There's a critter on there with a number yep. and then icons uh, yep. for the acorns. And it's like, okay. Uh, like, it's so simple yeah, yet it's brilliant. Very simple kind of graphic design that's straightforward but it does exactly like it makes the teaching very easy yeah. it conveys you know like the rules are very simple mm -hmm. very straightforward yeah. i mean look at that monster rule book yeah i know right it's <laughs> <laughs> the whole open flap of paper oh no bob it's a tall one that opens oh, it's covering no. up the whole game space how are we going to uh no this was really cool i really sort of appreciated the simplicity and the elegance yet my ears are smoking because of the five brain cells i have left uh, totally Toasty. burning up yeah. while uh, trying to work out can I possibly get any points or make a move that isn't going to set up like a no pun intended domino effect where right. somebody else is going to then just score two points like mm -hmm. score two tiles immediately Yep. Um, which is what I did last time we played but I would have rather given the other our guest those points than to set Bob up for a nice turn yeah forget about me well, I didn't have a way to help you. You were beyond help. <laughs> no, 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 no one could help me. You were beyond help. Uh, but no, I really like this. I, I think for what this game is and what it does, like what a fun little small box uh, uh, game. I didn't get to see the box. The, There's the, no box oh. with the prototype they sent. It literally oh, in a bag. in an envelope in a bag okay. from box, Japan. Box. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so this was sent to us. I, I did. I was like, hey, this sounds really cool. We'd love to try it. Right. Um, but uh, not paid. They just sent it to us, um, and this Checking is what it we got. It was pretty fun. Yeah, pretty fun. Did you get to learn it on uh, TTS? No. No. Oh, okay. Nope. I actually I busted this when I got it. I just opened it up at home and played two handed. Okay. Got you. And and just Did just to learn it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, and again, right? Like two minutes in. I mean, you go through the rule book. And you're yeah. like, okay. And then you play, like I played Book. a full game uh, and it was like 10 minutes, you right. know, tops. And uh, and just 
going out and really the first good. time you play mistakes are going to happen i'll say that too yeah. only because of the tr trying to remember again with all this stuff going on there's just gonna be times you're like okay i think this might be my bet. Oh no, that that math doesn't work out. Okay, I can't do that. Like, there's gonna be some moments where when you're when you're first getting into the groove of the game, you're putting tiles in uh, the wrong places. So just keep an eye on each other and be like, right. no, remember. That's too many acorns. Yeah, yeah just and remember there is the a, amount of acorns. There is a step where they say after tile placement, there is verification, right? right? So you will verify that that so is. So obviously, they also believe that uh, sometimes some tiles can be made. Get placed. <laughs> because if they're and if uh, even if placement is confirmed and that tile violates the rules to, uh, oh, is discovered later you remove that tile from the game immediately and then if it's scored a point on an animal you also remove that point okay, okay. so their their okay, rule so is no, pretty no sneaking in my uh no <laughs> no, no cheaty face yeah you just yeah dismantle that board before everybody catches your mistake yeah everyone see that right there that's really crazy that's real wild <laughs> how that happened. Like, Wait, dang it it was backwards he almost <laughs> did it but he failed wow uh, but anyway, super fun. I, I strongly recommend this game. If any of this sounds appealing to you, I think that yeah. um, uh, that there's a Check lot of... Out. Yeah, I think there's a big audience for this. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else before we wrap? Nope. It's I an agree with that. it, it That's nuts. All right. For the Board Game Rundown, I've been Tim. Bob. Dan. Thanks for watching Bob's last episode. <laughs> <laughs>